This video is sponsored by Printful. This is one of my most favorite paintings I've ever done, and it's of a hand. I've painted quite a few hands in my time, and they're all pretty mediocre. I'm not gonna lie, they're all pretty not so strong. I've never been good at drawing or painting hands, and it was to my detriment in the beginning and the early stages of me falling in love with drawing and painting. I sort of avoided hands because of how difficult they were. I think a lot of artists can agree that hands are one of the most intricate objects, and they're very hard to nail down. I think some artists are overtly good at them and they're uber successful. But anyways, I wanted to frame a project around a hand. So that's this video. We're gonna paint this amazing hand modeled by my friend Kat um, with this awesome sword that is real. It's like very heavy, 15, 20 pounds, maybe not that much. And uh, it, it's great. And the painting, I, I made an amazing print using Printful to show the high fidelity prints you can make to replicate your art. Even a traditional oil painting, it doesn't need to be digital. We're gonna go over that, but first. Epic canvas prep montage. So we're painting on a masonite board, one of my favorite things to paint on. If you've seen my videos before, you know I love it. Gessoing it a few times, sanding in between, you know the drill. But I wanna talk about the importance of the format of what you're painting on. This is 11 by 14 inches, which is a very common size for canvases and also frames. Now I'm thinking of this because I'm gonna be making prints of this painting through Printful, which is a drop shipping fulfillment company. As long as you upload an image, it could be digital, it could be traditional like we're doing today. They have a myriad of different products to print on. And so I wanna be able to upload an image of my painting without having it crop. This way I have many options within Printful to print any size. As long as I take a high resolution image, the format of my canvas will stay the same and it will be able to match the format of dozens of different products for Printful. And you'll see all of that soon. But my good friend Kat came over. She has some beautiful hands with the, the nail polish that I really wanted. It kinda all worked out when I started this project. And so I wanted a really like epically lit, dramatic lighting shot of a female hand holding a sword, sort of that juxtaposition. The photo shoot went great. You know, I kind of had an exact image in my mind and was able to replicate it in the photo shoot. It doesn't always happen like that. The reflection on this metal, it's just gorgeous. So that is the final image. We got it. There is the painting. You know, I'm so happy with this photo. It came out exactly how I wanted, if not, better. And so setting up the painting area was next. You know, I was a little worried about this metal reflection because it's sort of like a still life and you want different textures in here. But we're laying out the palette. We're getting all the colors set up, ready to dive in with some oil paint. So these projects are always a whirlwind for me because I'm so amped before I start. Like, um, the, the whole creative aspect of this painting was actually the photo shoot and sort of composing this scene with Kat's hand and the light and the sword and the composition and sort of just sketching it out via photo shoot. I know that sounds weird, but once I get the photo, and in this case, I was extremely excited. The photo sort of um, outdid my expectations. I still have to go and then paint it, right? And that is like still very challenging. It takes a lot of time. So, you know, starting out, I'm really excited. And then, you know, I'm starting to mix paint and I'm realizing I have to match all these skin tones and hands are the most challenging thing for me. So then I kind of go on this roller coaster of, oh no, this is not gonna turn out great. Um, and it happens like with a lot of projects, but especially those projects that I'm extremely amped for, this being one of them. But you know, um, the good thing about this is that it's not that much surface area to cover. So I'm really focusing on two different things. I'm focusing on the hand and I'm focusing on the sword. Gotta make sure the hand looks like a hand and that includes a bunch of nuanced um, colors. Like there's greens and purples and all these awesome things that I wanna include in skin tones. And then I have to sort of nail the values of the reflective material that is this metal and this gold. I'm mixing up this gold right now and a lot of people think gold is really just yellow, but actually it's a lot of brown, a lot of really gray brown. And then only in the really reflective parts do you put some 
opaque yellow and um, and some really white whites for the reflection of a metal. Um, and I've learned that through doing metal here and there, but gold is really challenging. I think I, I did a pretty good job here, but um, all these things are happening and it was, it was a giant challenge of uh, uh, color mixing actually. This was a huge, huge color mixing challenge, but um, again, it, it was not super complex like one of my other larger scenes. This was just like a small sword about you know 12 inches and then a hand that is about like you know maybe six inches so um not mega challenging but i'm just following uh following my sort of technique the steps i got again the great reference to go on but just really trying to take my time i i seldomly use these super small brushes um and i you know i'm sure i could have gone even more detailed and waited for other drawing layers but that's that you know i i weirdly missed um, or didn't film the background. I, I filmed some of my iPhone for some short form content. You should obviously follow me on Instagram. Um, but the background also is some of my favorite parts. It's very subtle, but you'll see at the end, I really, um, you can see here the bloom. I have this bloom effect where closer to the hand and the sword, it gets a little brighter, slight, slight variation in that purple um, value, but it adds to this sort of affect that I captured in the camera. In the camera, I actually had, or on the camera, on the lens, I had a bloom filter, which basically just sort of does exactly what I said. It, it takes the highlights, the brightest points in the photograph. So for this, for example, it was just like the reflection on the sword, but it blooms those highlights and makes it a little streaky. And it's really beautiful. You could obviously see it in the reference photo. Um, and I add that at the end, but um, a symptom of that also in general is sort of having this subtle, subtle bloom and uh, I, I really, you know, I really just fell in love with this painting. It took only about a week, maybe like five painting sessions uh, of a few hours, but man, it was just awesome. And just another awesome composition to sort of have. So we're gonna hop onto Printful to make prints of this painting. It's dramatically easy. You're gonna be surprised. Printful is, in my opinion, the best drop shipping and fulfillment company. I've used their services to print hundreds of hoodies in the past, years before they reached out to collaborate with me. So I trust them for my own business. It's as easy as uploading an image and you can choose from hundreds of different products to customize and design, and then you can print them and they fulfill them for you. So when someone buys it on your website, Printful prints it and then ships it out to the customer you can make your own margins, you touch nothing. The quality is unbelievable, the packaging. It's really just the best tool for fine artists or people wanting to make online businesses with their designs. Let's do it all together, step by step. We have the Printful account, we're in product templates. We are going to create another product template and now you can see all these different products to choose from. They kind of categorize it. There's a lot of products. We're gonna go into home and living um, and there we have like our postcards, our wall art, framed posters, canvas prints. These are sort of the things we're looking at today. And something amazing that I wanted to try out was this new glossy metal print. I think because of the gloss in the sword and um, the size of the print, I think this would be literally the perfect canvas. So we're gonna choose 11 by 14 here and you can see how important that is. We want it vertical and what we're gonna do is just drop my image in and we have already it uploaded. We just apply and because it's the exact same format, it goes on here just perfectly. You could see the perforated line where it's actually gonna print. You could see that it says my DPI is good. So if the quality of the photo isn't good enough, it will tell you. There's also this mock-up view, which I think is amazing to really sort of generate what it will look like. This is what it looks like. And I think it's gonna be slick as ever. So it's $51 for this 11 by 14 glossy metal print. You could charge people. 80, 70, 100 bucks on your website. You just paint it once, upload the image, and they can take care of the rest and then you just profit. So that's sort of like how drop shipping and fulfillment works. If you didn't know, we're gonna hit continue. We'll call this hand sword metal print just to label it. And that's how easy it is. It literally couldn't be more straightforward. Let's travel forward in time a little to unbox. So six business days later, we got the two prints, the crazy high fidelity prints in six days. Again, you're not gonna find a faster, more high quality thing. I thought it was only fair that we, you know, try to unbox these with the sword. This sword is actually ridiculously sharp. This is the metal print. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. You could hardly tell the difference. 
This is so crazy. I've never seen something like this. It's so glossy. It's on this beautiful aluminum. It's like glass. This is different than I thought, but more amazing. Wow, I've really never seen anything like this. So it comes with hanging instructions, which is really nice. It also comes with, you know, a French cleat, which is my favorite to help hang. So this is really awesome. Seeing them side by side. Oh my gosh. On to the next. Here is the framed print. Very nice as well. I just love seeing these. It's just so weird to see all three of these together in, you know, framed in these nice sort of vehicles. Now, the thing about my painting is that it's had, you know, over a week to dry, so it's faded, and these two are glossy, so these are probably what it will look like closer to when I varnish it. That's like a pretty important part. But the color in these prints, it's like what I'd prefer the painting to be. Hopefully you can see in these shots that it, it's just dramatically accurate and unbelievably beautiful. I can't get over this metal print. It's literally like liquid glass. It's so unbelievable. But to run a business online as an artist, again, only if you're a fine artist, you don't need to be making digital products. You can make these products with just traditional oil paintings. And if you choose to start uploading images of your painting and selling these prints, you can do full branding through Printful. You can customize all of the logos, all of the brands for all the packaging. So it would look like it's fully from a custom store with stickers. And again, the packaging, so they do that all for you through fulfillment. It's just another reason why Printful is the best. It's, it's unbelievable. I want to put this into a really nice frame and do some cinematic shots. So let's do that.